Hey again, it's Liam from Tinnitus Treatment and this video is for people who are wondering why is there a ringing in my ears? You're probably thinking maybe you went to a festival or maybe it came from nowhere or maybe it came from drugs but if you're thinking why is there a ringing in my ears and how do you stop it? The important thing is that you tackle it as soon as possible because it doesn't just get better on its own and the reason it doesn't get better on its own is because of your lifestyle and I'm just not saying your lifestyle in particular but the traditional lifestyle based on food and activities and what we do, okay? So let me explain something. So first thing you need to do is get rid of um, the time you spend on tinnitustalk.com, going on tinnitus forums, reading all these depressing articles about people who kill themselves, about people who talk about the pity party, and I understand tinnitus is hard, I get that. I'm talking from experience here. I had a nine out of 10 pretty much suicidal for quite a long time from drums but I got rid of it and so can you. So here's the thing, people get tinnitus from a range of situations, but they can get rid of it using the same method. Let me explain, you can get tinnitus from physical injury, stress, antibiotics, antidepressants, um, emotional trauma, um, noise trauma is a common one, that's how I got it, I got it from drums. A whole range of everything you could possibly imagine, surgery, um, anesthetics, people wake up from surgery, uh, chemotherapy, um, everything, D drugs, pretty much any drug you take, antidepressants, if I haven't mentioned that, pretty much any drug you can take can give you tinnitus, and I've had it all, trust me, I've had people come to me with all sorts of problems, and they've got it from their doctors prescribing the medication, and then they get tinnitus, and, and they say to the doctor, why didn't you tell me this could happen, and they said, oh, well, it's written on the label, okay, i got to go see this other patient, but it's not anything to do with it, okay, because they don't know what to do, they know when they, when they hear tinnitus, they go, oh, shit, you know, it's probably for life but it's not for life as long as you address it as quickly as you possibly can, okay? You have to address it quickly because it just gets worse with time, especially if you read bad things about it and get stressed out. But here's the thing. To fix tinnitus, you have to understand one thing. It's one thing that's very important, okay? Fixing tinnitus, to fix it, it's the same process for everyone, no matter your age, no matter how you got it, okay? I want to give you a metaphor to illustrate this. Let's say, for example, you've got four window panes in your house, okay? And let's say, for example... You throw a plate through one window pane. Um, Jason Statham kicks a hole through one window pane. A storm comes and knocks a tree down and breaks the other window pane. And your kids are playing soccer in the house and they break the fourth window pane. So they're all broken, right? But they're broken in different ways. And you call the window repairman, he comes and you say, what should we do? And he says, well, the windows are broken, let's replace them, okay? That makes perfect sense. The windows are broken in different ways, but obviously replacing them is the same. You take the window out, you put a new one in, right? Simple. But imagine this scenario. Imagine if you, you said to the window repairman, well, the windows are broken, they're not working. Well, what should we do? And he said, well, it depends. How, do they ha how did it happen? And you say, well, Jason stayed and kicked a hole through this one, a tree blew down and broke this one, I threw a plate through this one, and my kids kicked a ball through this one. And imagine if he said, oh, well, in that case, we need to use a special resin on this. And which one was the one that Jason stayed and kicked a hole through? Oh, okay, that's going to cost a bit extra because we've got to use this paint for this one. I've got to call two more guys. Hey, guys, can you help me? Go to Jason Statham here. And imagine that. Imagine the ridiculous of that scenario. That's what people think tinnitus is life. And I think it personally comes from a situation of people thinking that they're special and they're unique. But I understand that it's important to think that you're unique in life because so, everyone has something unique to offer. But we're built the same. Our physiology is built the same. The way your ear works is the same. The way your inner ear works is the same. The fact that you eat too many carbohydrates and you get sick from it, you, present, you prevent yourself from getting better is the same, okay? So this video is about ringing ears. That metaphor about the windows, that's your ears. That's how you, and then remember, most of the time when your ears, unless you have some sort of, um, you've eaten too many carbohydrates and you're, you're preventing your the cells in your ears from working properly and getting into a state of autophagy, Besides the point, okay? If you have a ring in your ears, it's completely fixable, but it's about what you don't do. So here's what you don't do. Don't eat rice. Don't eat pasta. Don't eat pudding. Don't eat sugar. Don't go for jogs, okay? You need to keep your cortisol low. So you need to go to bed early and get up early, okay? I get up at 5 a.m. and go to bed at 8 p.m. If you can't do that because of your schedule, figure something out. You'll be fine. Um, and here's the thing, guys. It's more about what you don't do than what you do do. But don't don't get me wrong, malnutrition is a big causation of tinnitus as well. So here's the thing, if you have a ringing in your ears, here's what I want you to do. Go below this video, go to liamstopsinitis.com, go to the website, put your email address in and get the free ebook, which is a beginner's guide. It's gonna show you how to get rid of your tinnitus without habituation, without surgery, or without drugs. 
basically without all the things that doctors tell you, which A, have a low result uh, percentage, and B, most likely will make tinnitus worse. If your tinnitus, if your doctor ENT, sorry, tells you to take antidepressants, run out of the fucking room. That makes it 10 times worse. I can't tell you how many people have come to me who take antidepressants and it makes it worse. And then they've got to get off the antidepressants, which is harder to get off than any drug. It, it is. If you want to get off a two year long addiction to Xanax or Zoloft or something like that. It's rougher than getting off heroin. I've seen the studies, I've seen videos, it's not nice. I've helped people get through that. It's not a pleasant experience. The fact that doctors are prescribing this stuff should be illegal. It makes tinnitus worse, it messes with your arteries, okay? Anyway, so click the link below, go to liamstoptinnitus.com and it's a beginner's guide that's gonna show you what to do. It's real simple guys and all you have to do is put your email address in and if all this guide did for you, which is get rid of that fear that tinnitus is for life, It'd be worth it, right? So you have two choices. You can either go and try and figure it out or think, I'm going to stick with the doctor and, you know, who's this guy in? So then I'm going to go with the doctor when he says he's a professional and pay thousands of dollars and maybe get some results. Maybe. Or you can go below, get the guy that's proven to get results, get the exact guy that I used to get rid of my noise trauma and start using that and just try it before you see the doctor. It's really up to you. So this is Liam from Tinnitus Treatment. Right there, Tinnitus Treatment. Hope this helped. This video is about ringing in my ears, if you're asking yourself that. Talk soon.